Hello story lovers and welcome to this vlog. I'm narrator Rebecca McKernan and today I'll be sharing with you the third in the fabulous Rosemary A. John's Rebel Angel series. Uh, this latest audiobook offering is Vampire Devil and it follows Violet's um, journeys through supernatural paranormal life. <laughs> Um, I should say straight away, as it's the third in the series, there will be spoilers in the next five to ten minutes. So if you don't know where you are in this series yet, I recommend go back, turn this off, go back to book one, uh, Vampire Huntress, which is available along with book two. Uh, we like to do things sequ sequentially in this world. <laughs> um, uh, book two is Vampire Princess, I think. Anyway, you can find them on Audible, no, yes, Aud gosh, Audible on Amazon um, and iTunes. So listen to the first two before retuning into this vlog and listening to this excerpt. But before we go any further, I shall read to you the back of the book. So this is Rosemary A. John's Vampire Devil. This is why fallen angels fear the light. Snatched to the underworld, Violet discovers that the father who abandoned her as a baby is the tyrannical king of hell. She's forced to battle in the Bone Carnival to prove her loyalty in the court of the wildest vampire rebels ever to be cast out of Angel World, or else she won't be able to save the angels or her sister. When she defies the anarchic vampire court, she is tested in three impossible devil's quests, which risk letting out the worst monster of them all, and it's inside her. If she fails, she'll be bonded eternally to a tyrannical general, whilst the vampire geek and sexy angel she loves will become the elite army's playthings. The apocalypse is coming, and Violet may just be the weapon that destroys the world. So I'm going to read to you a few pages from chapter one, and again, uh, two disclaimers, one spoiler alert, two Violet is from East London, so she's got an East London accent. Um, so, so just deal with it. <laughs> One. Vampires. Angels. I once hunted the bastards. Now I'm the bitch who rules them. I reign over a valley of feathers and bones. Death. The end. Destroyer. Half vampire, half angel. I'm a mon monster amongst monsters. My human life of gamers, shanks and sister burn on my 21st, first, sorry, I have not my teeth in today, 21st birthday, when my powers arose phoenix-like. They marked me out as anything but human, until tricked into the harem boy angel world, an angel princess with the vampire's king as dad, I've torched the corrupted court, only, be only to become a captive in hell. Light. I squinted through the migraine white, Stumbling in the heat, my hands clawed around the bars of the cage. I grimaced at the slurp as Galoop clung to my fingertips. My violet and black wings, which had broken from my shoulder blades and flown me free from Angel World, beat slowly as I wrinkled my nose at the sink of tar and oil, wiping the ooze down my leather trousers. Then I backed away from the sides of the cage, a giant bird cage which swung from chains. Rattle. Clank, rattle, clank, rattle, clank. I peered out at the shadowy vampires beyond the light who were running bo bones along the bars. Humans called them vampires, but I'd discovered they were fallen angels who'd been cast out of Angel World where my mother reigned, leading to centuries of war. And now, captured, I was trapped in the fanged wild west. Only the most savage rebels survived. Oh yeah, and my dad was the sheriff. I spun, whirling my ash blonde hair like fire before raising my hands. Place your bets, bitches! Because this was the cage, the fighting ring where anything went, and we proved our worth in the underworld through pain to win the prize. I was a huntress, princess, king of the underworld's daughter, and undefeated champion since I'd been brought here, reluctant guest, 87 fights ago. How else could I judge time trapped below the city of London in this fallen underworld? Alone. Each time I fought and won without the blokes who'd saved me and battled by my side, 
I couldn't help the worming thought. Did I need anyone but myself? Would I ever be allowed to see my fam again? A shadowy veil of pain, grief and despair touched me through my bond with Rebel, my bondage Irish angel. Could he feel it? My rejection? I shuddered, allowing the ache for only a moment before I shook it off. Exhaustion clung to me like spider webs. Then I straightened my throbbing shoulders. The thrill of the fight lit me up, fairyland. I fiddled at the straps on the black leather armour, which was slashed down the back to release my wings, tightening it, over, tightening it over my latex top. I was being roasted inside. Rattle, clank, rattle, clank, rattle, clank. My obsidian wingtips quivered. It was never a sign of singing unicorns when they got with the bone rattling. I eat when the steel floor tipped, fairground ride special. And I skidded towards the tarred cage bars. I furled my wings behind myself like a kid curling its hands over its bum to hide itself from a smacking. Titters and hoops. I scowled, blushing, but couldn't help closing my eyes and waiting for the thud only to trip backwards as the floor gave a metallic hiccup and levelled. I gasped, just as I was caught in a grey-winged embrace. Cherry-scented feathers swept around me, cloying in their sweetness. A tongue flicked out and, lazy as a cat, licked up my throat. I arched, wriggling closer. This cowboy either had a shooter in his pocket or... I shivered. No more fights today, Miss Rule. This bitch is toasted to a crisp. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. A sigh. Your audience awaits, Bone Princess. The show must go on. Then are you stepping up, bro? Or can I get with the fang whomping already? Public groping's not on my to-do list. A deep-throated chuckle. Then I was swung around. The master of misrule stroked my wings. Heat coiled through me, zinging desire in each light caress. His black eyes blazed as he gazed down at me. I was lost in his towering shadow, a punk god. The ringmaster of the cage had bones threaded through his afro like pearls. A frilly lace cravat hung tongue-like over his PVC catsuit and coat. The ancient vampiric black inside me caroled rejoicing at his hold, even as the angelic violet chanted warnings. Umph! I elbowed Misrule in the guts and he let go. Misrule bowed before kissing the tip of my nose. We shall hasten to the main act as the lady desires it. I snorted in your dreams. He waggled his eyebrows. In every fallen since our princess so cruelly, de so cruelly denies us entry. I'm going to... Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm still doing Cockney. I'm still in character. Uh, I'm going to stop there. <laughs> that, that turned a bit Essex at the end there. Um, so that was the first few pages of Rosemary A. John's Vampire Devil installation three in the rebel angels series the full box set is box set is available uh to read but not to listen to yet uh however you can listen to books one two and three beautiful books they are aren't they gorgeous uh and you can sample a new uh male vampire slash angel delight in everyone <laughs> angel i used to love angel delight I have just begun to ramble, so I'm going to sign off now before this gets any more tedious for you. Uh, thank you for listening. I'm narrator, actress, writer sometimes, uh, Rebecca McKernan. You can find me on Twitter and Facebook at Becca Tells Tales and also on the Tinterweb at uh, RebeccaMcKernan.com. Many thanks for your time. See you next time. Mwah!